Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today is, well, one of the best of face um, for 2015. And I'm gonna start it off with, well, foundation really. And unfortunately, I don't have my top one to show you. Um, and really, if I'm being honest, my favorite foundation has not yet been found. Um, I'm just using some old ones and then I've got some testers of some from YSL. So I'm going to give that a go. But the one that's on my face has pretty much been a firm foundation and it does come third actually in this little lot. I've just tipped out everything, which is why it's so noisy. And it's the Bare Skin by Bare Minerals. Um, I wanted to try something a little different. Um, I hadn't seen anything about this and I really like the flawless look of this. You can build up the, um, if it's a light, medium or um, full coverage with this. You are advised to use their brush, but I don't like doing that because, well, I think it's very expensive and I, I use my 99p sort of round oval brush now. I do also use my Beauty Blender with it, which works really well, but I actually like the finish of the brush even more if you can see it on today i feel like it's a really lovely finish i have got bronze all over my face though and i'll talk about that in a bit um but the bare minerals bare skin and this is in bare porcelain zero one and i think it's lovely it's just the right color um with the this one it's not a white porcelain color um you have to give it a shake before you put take it out there is, that is one thing i can i get quite annoyed with so that's the sort of color of it so it is slightly lighter um, but it's a good colour for me, it's almost yellowy. It's really nice actually, even though, well, no, it's quite neutral actually for a, for a colour. It does work really well for me. Um, you do have to shake it really well. But what I'm finding is, there is still quite a lot of foundation in there. You can hear it, there's like ball bearing in there. And that ball bearing gets stuck at the top so you can't squeeze it out, but just give it a really good shake and it will work. So just a little tip there, if you're struggling with getting it out. So that's number three. Number two, bear with me. Sorry about that, Rupert decided to have, he's, he's not happy the window cleaners have been here so that he's really annoyed. Um, number two is the Makeup Forever HD foundation, not the Ultra HD, this is the older formula um, and um, apart from the fact the lid really annoys me, it's a good foundation but I do find that towards the sort of end of eight hours it starts to break up around my chin, doesn't matter if I've set it or not doesn't look great and I'm not talking about like an oily breakup it just sort of gathers um, and it's always around my chin so there must be like severe dry spots around there I have got I'm a bit spotty at the minute uh, it's a really nice coverage it's a really nice co color this is N110 which is neutral I think and it's the lightest they do it's maybe a bit too light once again I've <laughs> I've really got to sort of get out of this habit of buying the lightest color but I am fair so you know that's what it looks like. It's a good foundation. A lot of people love this foundation. It isn't a matte foundation, which is what I like about it. And it's okay. However, my number one foundation for 2015, I don't have it on me. Um, and it actually is the um, Lasting Finish. So both of those are high end, but the Lasting Finish by um, Rimmel. And it's a 25 hour one, so it is long lasting. And I believe that it is long lasting. And it's got, um, it's like got a comfort serum in it. So it makes it less matte. Um, it's a very thick foundation though. So if you're um, worried about coverage and you want something full coverage, this would work well. But if you are looking for a light foundation, it definitely isn't the one for you. I'm looking to sort of test what sort of foundations I prefer now. I think I like more um, dewy foundations. My skin is slightly dry, although it isn't because of the skin routine that I have, the skincare routine, but it is because um, it just is dry. So I would definitely say that that one is my favorite 2015, but it isn't my holy grail. I don't have a holy grail yet and I am searching for it. So. Um, if any of you have any recommendations, that would be really good. I am going to be um, trying the Touche Clat, something Touche Clat, Tainter Touche Clat or something by YSL. I've got seven day testers. I've got two different colours and I thought that was really good that they gave testers. So I'm going to give those a go before I purchase something and see how I get on with it. But we'll see. I will definitely 
um, let you know. You'll be surprised to see that the Maybelline BB Cream that I really raved about that was a pound isn't in here. It just didn't make it for me. I love it. Love it during the summer. It's a beautiful colour. It's really, really pale as well. I do find that it's really good to mix with some other foundations, but it didn't quite make my top three. Anyway, that is the top three foundations, and I will see you in my next one for top three concealers. Take care.